Hi guys. How are you? I can't hear you. Good, nice. Okay. I want someone to pray for us before I start the program. Um Okay. Nice. Savior, thank you for saving us. Thank you for loving us. Bless us, please, Lord. You're the only Savior. You saved us from everything. Thank you, Lord. You're the Savior. Please bless the people who don't know you. Please, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Okay. Okay. We're going to be starting reading our verses, and uh, today uh, I'm going to start from here, okay? Okay. Yeah. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. with the first line and then I go to the second line. Okay. Show me chapter 13 verse 4. Serve the Lord your God and fear him alone. Obey his commands, listen to his voice, and cling to him. Thank you. Who's next? Who's there? Psalms 34 a oh taste and see that the Lord is good blesses the man who takes refuge in him and he said unto me it is done I am the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end I will give unto him that that is at the rest of the fountain of the Revelation 6, verse 13 through 18. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they? And where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. He, therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve Him day and night in His temple. And He who sits on the throne will shelter them with His presence. Never again will they hunger, never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to the springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Amen. Bless you. Josh. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no human has convinced him what God has prepared for those who love him. First Corinthians chapter two verse nine. Christian is going to read his verse and pay attention, please. Ten bite Isaiah's Meraf Salasa Sost Kutel Amas Exabihir Be Ariya Takem Twalena Kev Kev Alet Yunin Beferdina Betsidik Mulat. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He will fill Zion with justice and righteousness. Amen. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 5. Amen. Isaiah 
chapter 24, verse 8. Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay, you are the potter. We are all the work of your hands. Chapter 5, <clears throat> verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown on, on and trampled underfoot. Israel gives power and strength to his people. Psalm 68, verse 35. God bless you. Jude 
1, verse 2, mercy be unto you, and peace be ye filled with the Spirit. Amen. God bless you, baby. Is there anyone who hasn't said anything? Nothing? I think everybody. Okay, come on. God is my shepherd. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. You guys are so awesome. You had very. Um, my teacher is our shepherd. Yes, he is. Yes, please. We have one God. Yes. Okay. Um, one of the attributes of God. Yes. Jesus is our Savior. Yes, please, Nadi. He is a loving God. Um, you already had that one. Okay. Let me go ahead and tell you one thing more on top of what you guys have tried to say. Uh, God has many attributes or characters. Uh, one way or the other way mentioned in the Bible. And specifically today, we will consider those characters which are written on the book of Psalms 139, 7 to 10, and Psalms 90, 91 to 2. Before I go to those uh, verses, what I would like to say is, listen to me, do not move around. God is omniscient. Omniscient refers to God who can do anything. And he is omnipresent. He can. Does anyone know what omnipresent means? Can't. Omnipresent. This word has two words combined to get together. The one is a prefix, the other one is a root word. And the root word present refers to his presence. And omni refers to all or in all. Okay, nothing. Yes, God is present everywhere and anytime. So, omnipresent means God is a God who is present now here. He is present in your house. He is present when you go to school. He is there. When you are driving, when you are riding a car, he is there. And again. When you sleep, he doesn't sleep. He is always aware to safeguard you, to protect you from anything. And so, yes, please. He is working for us, not for himself. He's not just working in the company and making some money, but he's just working to protect, provide, save, and do all the things that the human being need. So, when, whenever we say God is omnipresent, that means that means he is here. He is there wherever I go. You got what I'm saying? Nile. Is God only in the church? Where do you only the church? No. Okay, no. He is found everywhere. He is everywhere. And he is always ready to help us. So whenever we say that God is omnipresent, that means. He is present with us anytime, anytime, and anytime, any place. Got it? Whenever you go to some restaurants, God is there. He is there. He's not eating, but protecting you. When you say, like, when you needed some kind of help, He is there to help you. Even when you're in the church, He's there. He is there. You're right. God bless you. And so, who can read for me Bible verse, Psalms 139, 7 to 10? Okay. Um, come on, Ed. Okay. The next one I'll give you a chance. Give me one second. Go ahead. Ed. And can you come over here? I can give you mine. You can read this. Come on here. Come on. Come on. I can give you this Bible. Okay, this is 139, 7 to 10. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee your presence? I ascend your into heaven. You are there. 
if you make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take my the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Amen. Uh, let me read it again one more. Please listen to me carefully. Omnipresent. God is omnipresent. And in this specific verse, it says like, where can I go from your spirit? There's no way that I can be hiding or run away from your spirit. Or where can I flee from your presence if I ascend into the heavens? Even if I go to the heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in the hill, even if I go to the hill, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. So, God is everywhere. Okay, every time. And again, I want someone to read for me verse... Uh, uh, Psalms 91, verse 1, 2. Um, we got the, the first one to read. Okay. Okay. Uh, Josh. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in the generations before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world first. From everlasting to everlasting, you have been. God. That means he, you are Alpha and Omega. Omega. There is no beginning and end for our God. And this shows that God is in any time in life, he is there to help us. He is omnipresent. Omnipresent. He is present in space and again in time. So when Betty is coming in the church, God is in the church. And if she comes in the morning, he is there in the morning. When she goes back to the, her house, God is going to go with her. He is everywhere. And in the night, when you are heading towards the bed, he is still there. So, let me tell you one thing. When we were very kid like you, there was a lot of issues like light, power, something. It can just get out anytime. When we grew up in our country, not in this country, the power came out. And they tell, they want to scare us like, the hyena is going to get you now. They say like that. Now, so we can try to cover ourselves by the blanket very well so that nothing will come to us. You got what I'm saying? Yeah, but God is already. Yeah. So if you believe that God is with you, if God is, if you believe that, if you know that God is there, so there is nothing that can do that. Because before, before the hyena is trying to reach to you, God will reach to him and kick him down. And you will be knocked out and there is no chance for him to reach you. You got what I'm saying? So in this country, whatever they say, if they say like there is something scary, you shouldn't be scared of it. Because your God is faster than the faster, stronger than the stronger, and he can save you from anything that you might have felt afraid of. Okay? Because God is omnipresent. He is present anytime, any place, wherever you go. Whenever you are in school, when you feel like that parents are not there, God is there with you. God bless you. I want someone to pray for us. Will you pray for us? Just say thank you for everything that God has given so far. Thank you, God, for bringing us all here today. And thank you, Lord, for always protecting us and saving us from anything we fear of. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us your wisdom. And please, Lord, let us learn something new about you. Amen. Amen. Um. Kids, you are expected to wear uh, black and red.
ክላውዝስ ኤን የህፃናት ፕሮግራም አስተባባሪዎች ሳምንት ለሚኖረው የገና ዝግጅት ከገቢውን አልባሳት አድርገው እንዲመጡ ይገሯቸው ጥቁርና ቀይ ጥቁርና ቀይ የህፃናት መምህራን ይሄንን ተታሳስቦ እንመክራለን አባረኩ